Okie dokie, for today's lunch, we're cooking the jalapeno and pepper jack beef patty that I got at the dollar and a quarter tree. Um, it looks delicious, doesn't it? So, the cooking instructions aren't helpful because it says right there, cook from frozen. Okay, but then below here, it says keep refrigerated or frozen, thaw in refrigerator or microwave. I don't know, but in my van, my refrigerator thaws food anyhow, so it'll always be thaw. So uh, we're not going to pay attention to that, but we are going to probe it, probe it with the prober and make sure it's like 165 degrees, whatever they say is safe. The ingredients look pretty good to me. Uh, what I don't see is TVP, texturized vegetable protein, soy or anything. So, uh, just soybean oil. That's all I can see. Now then, it is a whopping 480 calories, but it's a low carbohydrate. And that's what I wanted to do is something low carbohydrate. And I'm cooking it in my mini rice cooker because a lot of people can't pull the power that the My Mini Griddle uh, calls for, which is 350 watts. So the rice cooker is only 260 watts. All right, and for those that aren't familiar with the My Mini, this is what it looks like. I'm thinking it'll probably go in the uh, bottom thing. Let's say, uh, let's just temporarily. Yeah, I think it'll fit there. I don't know. But before I plug it in, I'm going to go ahead and grease it up. I got this grease from Costco, and that's as good as it does. Uh, it doesn't really spray after the first couple of times, but uh, yeah, this should work. Now, the difference between my mini griddle and this rice cooker is the griddle will cook it from the top as well as the bottom, but it also uses 350 watts to where the, my mini uh, noodle cooker is only 260 watts. And I think we'll be fine like this. The steam will capture it and blow it back down, but uh, we'll find out. We all know it's just such a giggle with me uh, cooking. So it's close enough to 1149 to say it's 1149. I'm going to plug it in, heat it up for two minutes, and go ahead and open this packet. So while we're waiting, I'm going to show you this. Okay, this is a little flipper that I get from the Dollar Tree, or as I lovingly call it, the Dollar and a Quarter Tree. And this will grip it right here so I can lift it in case of emergencies. I got this from Daiso, but I'm doing a video. You can also get this at a... Uh, Wait a minute, Timo for like $3, so that's not so bad, $3 or $4. And we'll do a product review to see if this works good at all. All right, it's still warming up, the red light's on, and I'm going to go ahead and cut this with the scissors. It has been on for less than a minute, it's still 11.49, and can you see all the steam on top? I just wanted to point out it heats up very quickly. Well, as I'd like to say, close enough for... Uh, <laughs> government work. Uh, I waited, I waited. Oh, that's a pretty big patty. I'm really surprised with how big that is. No wonder it's 490 calories. Can you see in there? All right. So is it the color of ground beef that I would expect? No, but uh, I, I don't know what it's the color of. All right. I'm going to remove the lid, throw in the patty. Oh, we have sizzling. That's delightful. And let me center the patty a little bit. There we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy we have sizzling. Amazing. I'll cover it, and uh, it is now 1150. I thought this might be handy to use. I got this at Hobby Lobby at like 50% off. Normally these are like $1.99. A dollar. Yay! Alrighty, it has been steaming away for five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Look at that. Look at that sizzle and everything. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So happy with it. But uh, we're going to go ahead and turn it over and let it cook on the other side. And I'm going to get some of that grease out right now. I don't like that much grease. There we go. So I'm just going to push that over. Put some grease tail there, let it absorb. That's a lot of grease, but I want you to see this too. But it is cooking it really, really well. I'm really impressed and it smells delicious, it does, to be honest with you. It smells really, really good. 
That's one grease towel. And I'll put in a half a grease towel. Yeah, that's uh, good. I'm actually really, really thrilled with this. And if it tastes as good as it smells, I'm going to be in heaven. Definitely. All right, we got a lot of the grease out of there. It's 11.56 right now. So I'm going to go ahead and recover it so it doesn't splatter grease everywhere. And uh, give it a couple more minutes because on the package it only gave frozen cooking directions. Get over here. Get over here. There you go. Very good. All right, I will check back with you in a couple of minutes. So I don't do this often, but I get this at the dollar and a quarter tree, and I'm so happy. Zero sugar root beer. It is two liters, so it's a huge bottle. And like I said, it's a treat. And what goes better with a burger than some Rudy Toot beer? Oh my gosh, can you hear that sizzling? It sounds so wonderful. That's my little Rudy Toot beer cup. But uh, oh, I'm going to check the temperature. Let's check the temperature, see where we're at. All right, it's 11.58. Ah, uh, it says 173, 174. It says it's done. You know what, I'm gonna take the lid off, clean off some of the grease and let it cook just a little bit more. So yeah, oh my gosh, I feel like a lion tamer with the grease, don't I? So it is greasy, it's splattered all over my backboard. Very, very greasy. So uh, I would not recommend doing this in a van, not this hamburger patty. Usually we don't have a big greasy thing. Or maybe because it's so greasy, cook it in the thing that it came with. And yeah, I think that would have uh, that would have kept it down. All right, I got another patty. So we'll go ahead and do a splatter thing uh, with another one. I think I got the mushroom and Swiss one. So we'll do that in a few days, okay? There we go. We got off the extra grease. And I'm not sure if I really showed you that accurately. I'm going to ahead and put that in. Can you guys read that? 169, 171. It's climbing up quick, 174. So uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's flip it over and see how it looks on the other side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, I burn it a little. But that's okay, because I actually like char food. I do. So it's 12 o'clock, lunchtime. I'm going to unplug that. There we go. And uh, next, I'll go ahead and plate it. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on my plate. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And then I'm going to towel off the grease. Lots and lots of grease. I don't recommend uh, using this in the van. No, we need the, uh, maybe a splatter attachment or something. I will figure that out. So is this my third or fourth towel that I'm running around in here trying to sop up grease and I'll sop up grease on some of the hamburger. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Grease all sopped up. Yay. And one of my favorite things is this is my no high fructose corn syrup. Geffen. I got this at the commissary uh, nobody liked this. It was 28 ounces for 74 cents, and uh, I'm like, score, it's delicious. So I dabbled it with some ketchup, and my other favorite thing is this is from Walmart. It's black and white peppercorn for $1.99 with the grinder, and this is great because some pepper grinders, what it is, is there's no kick to it. Now, I know there's jalapeno, but I still like the texture of a uh, ground pepper. So next all we have to do is a taste test. All right, trying different things, right? All right, so there we go. Gonna cut it up. Oh, good. It's not gonna travel everywhere. I wanted to show you what it looks like on the inside. It looks very textury. I'll go ahead and rotate the fork. What do you guys think? I mean, the important thing is how does it taste? So I'm gonna blow on it. I can see the drippy cheese and everything. All right, let me blow on it. Oh, that's really good. Mm-hmm. I've never had one of these before. Oh my gosh, yeah. Jalapeno, jalapeno there. Very, very good. Okay, I can highly recommend this. If you just want a good, cheap lunch, you can cook it in my mini uh, rice cooker, which I did. I think it splatters way too much. 
Uh, I'm going to figure out a different way to do that and I will get back to you. And as always, I will see you down the road, but this is fantastic. It really is.